Sorry, the mic wasn't on. Crazy. All right. So, let me get into that again. I'm DiBiase, producer, based out of Los Angeles, but I've been living in Sacramento for 10 years now. I'm a... I'm going to show you how I cook on Serato Studio. Basically, fell in love with it from using Serato Sample at first with Ableton, but uh, I haven't even touched Ableton for a good seven months. Just been cooking on Serato Studio. So um, I'm going to go through some samples. I got, I got some samples from my boy Kazal Organism. He sent me some stuff last night. So, see what he got for us. So I'm just I'm just listening to it right now because um I just imported it. So you're hearing it as I'm hearing it right now. It's pretty nasty with it. So, the thing with Serato Studio, you have eight shops to work with, but um, sometimes I'll put Serato, I'll put Serato sample inside of Serato Studio if I want 32 chops. But I'm gonna just do a quick little cook up. So I like that chop, so I'ma just I'ma do an auto chop for this right now. This first one. I like how it sounds. I also got a template. I saved a template with my kicks, my snares, and my hi-hats. The secret to get the swing on Serato Studio, I'll just add a sample instead of adding a drum track. With the drum track, all your drums are locked into this grid. And you can't really slide or nudge anything over. So the reason why I put it in the sample, notice how the grid, you can slide stuff off the grid. You can only put one sound on each sample, but you can trigger it different times. So if you want to do your ghost notes, so obviously I want my first kick to hit on the one. Then I'm gonna take the quantize off for that. Some hi-hat loops from the smack pack. Shout out to Ski Beats. Alright, I'm gonna use a hi-hat loop.
like that. So I could clear it. Also, I don't even want quantize on actually. Could do this. Could slide stuff. Just change the seams so I could try something different here.
Chop two. Another thing I do, I duplicate the uh, the sample as well, so I can have one with a high pass and one with a low pass. Raise up the high pass a little on it. Let you see the secret sauce real quick. Filter nasty. So I'm just duplicating it, but I can automate the mute outs. So if I want to take the high pass out of this, hit the robot icon on the top corner. You can just draw in the mute. So I'm gonna take the high pass out. Then I'm gonna add another sample with a high pass and add my little fill in stuff on top of this. Then I can.
takes a little bit to draw in stuff. You can record it if you want to, but it's more accurate this way. Just going through the bars real quick. Also got, it has filters, auto filter. It's inside the EQ section. So I put that on my high pass sometimes and just vibe it out a little bit. So I can mess with the timing. It's on one one, the timing of the filter, but you can control the, the rate. Sometimes I'll put it on Two, one, or sometimes four, one. Yeah, you just vibe it out like that, man. And then um, I can add bass to it real quick. And then if I want to structure it out. So you can just drag them, you can just drag them from each of these scenes and just have your variations in each one. Put your mute out. But I would, I would most likely bring it in with the filter and then bring in the sample towards the end, like fade it in some kind of way. your vocal drops in there you can have save presets drag it so I need one without the, the filter to let it ride out for a bit base to that later on. Man, let's see. So this is so I just need to mute it out real quick. It's a little little tedious man doing a, the uh, automation like this but it's a little precise though, so you don't have to clean it up afterward. But um, hopefully they add some updates where it's a little easier. But you know, we make it work though. Feel crazy, feel like I'm talking to myself in, in the lab. Normally I'm just quiet, cooking. Drag it in order. You could title it. So sometimes I'll just add like little, like one more, uh, like I could copy this and add one more, but have delays on the. Uh, the sample, the high pass sample. So for some like little fill in. So 
Solar, Amicus. Make one more. is the high pass and I'm gonna add a delay too got the delay this out real quick and just another variation I just be building up the beat like this so you can kind of build it up like every eight bars or you can build it up eight every four bars and just have variations drag this drag it down here Pretty much, you know, quick and quick. it wasn't that quick. This next one will be. Let me save this up. Shout out to Kazal on them chords, man. Kazal Organism. If you don't know about them, check them out. Sick, sick. Like he does a lot of stuff with uh Kaylin Ellis. All them cats, but um his pops are OG in the game. Mellow Man Ace. If 
y'all know about Cypress Hill and all that. Man, delicious vinyl. Here. Yeah, let's cook up something else real quick. Let me see if I... All right, let's go. What we in the, what we in the mood for now? Let's see. Got a batch of samples, so maybe some video game stuff. Somebody on Twitter told me to uh, flip zombies ate my my neighbors. I think it was a uh, grumpy Snorlax told me to flip some of that. So let's see. He was saying that one, but it, it, there's some shit on here, though. Let me see if I can find it. Sound kind of sinister. Alright, plug it. Let's, let's try it. Alright, so I can erase all them chops if I don't want it to auto chop for me. So, and also, I'm gonna I'm a do my other little hack with Serato Sample. So I can have 32 chops instead of eight. But the um, only thing with using Serato Sample, if you're gonna send a project to somebody, it's not gonna have Serato Sample in it for some reason. So uh, yeah, the the sample won't be in there. So I just try to keep it strictly Serato Studio. But for this sample, I'm gonna try that real quick. So basically, what you want to do is add an instrument. The instrument track and then you're gonna go to your plugins since Serato sample is a plugin just type it up in your your library drag it boom so now actually I could just drag it from here. I'm gonna drag the sample. Unused bonus stage. Just in case. Y'all thinking of flipping it. So like now I got 32 chops. So now oh, one more thing. You wanna disable playing key so the chops play in order. If not, it's going to be on random keys. I'm just doing the play and chop. can do get some kicks real quick where my kicks at um, I'll do a, I'll do a mono mono All right, 
I'm just dragging it to my sample since I already got a, a template set up. So what I want to do is make sure I assign the marks to each. So if I want ghost notes on my kicks, just bam. So if I want three, you know, my filling kick, because I don't want everything all on the same row. And sometimes you want different velocities for different kicks. So I've got three different kicks to work with. All right, so now I feel like this might be a slower 85. 85 BPM type joint. That wrap pocket, the wrap pocket. Um, I feel like maybe some tambourine type shit.
I'm brainstorming. Just make some variations, so I'm a copy. And just uh, make variations of the sample.
proceed as you know it's like my my vinyl sim on the Serato Studio. <laughs> So I'm going to make this about four bars. Just clear this. Shit, I, I just zone out on here, but uh, anybody got questions or anything? Shit, I'm like, <laughs> fuck, man. Anything y'all y'all want to know exactly before I wrap this this beat up and try to make one more? All right, keep it going. Grumpy Snorlax in the building. Big up for recommending this this uh the soundtrack, the sample. drum rolls real quick. 
Then after this, I'm gonna try to get on some grimy shit. I'm not putting nothing in the drum tracks. I'm just putting it to add sample. You have more control that way. So people that say you can't get Serato Studio swinging, it's like, man, you really can if you do it this way. I'm just building this shit up real quick. See what it sound like with a bass. Get the bass line cracking. in the bass, it's always good. Had that high pass so it don't clash with the bass line. And then, um, let's see what we're gonna do with bass line. That's why this one might work.
like a stretch or anything. Also, I could side chain. You could side chain on here too. So, hard side chain. Snap to the kick drum. Get some more vocals in here, man. get the gist of it I'll, I'll finish that one up later uh, shit it's not it's a tech uh, let's see what direction we go now um, That's to have a, a template, like a startup template, save you a lot of time. That's with any program. Go through the sample pool real quick. I feel like I'm going to go the, the breakbeat route on this one. 
some light. So with with drum breaks, it's best to uh, use the slicer set to slicer mode. And then you can change the size of the slice. So that's a good. So I want my ghost cakes somewhere, but it's muting out each other. So I'm gonna just duplicate, clear it, then. Then you can mess with the release a little bit. Okay. Notice how the drums is not on the grid by doing it this way. So add an instrument, plug in, plug in inside your library section. If you have Serato sample, suggest you getting it. If you don't have it, damn, where is it? Drag it. Disable playing key. Now, just go to where your, your sample folder is at. So I could just, I could listen to the sample while the drums is playing. I'm 
do this one. I thought I was gonna do something grimy, but that is not turning out that way. Just, I'm just chopping it as I listen. Just duplicate this drum pattern real quick. Actually, actually, I'm gonna do this first. When I do, I do drum breaks, sometimes I'll get like a like a bottom heavy kick, and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna copy where the kicks is. So. I have a kick drum here already by default, but I could change it up to mat, have something that might work, it might not. But uh, what I'm gonna do is oh, Control All, and then I'm gonna copy a ghost kick, and I'm gonna go to this kick, paste it. See how it's lined up? That, so now I just need my first. But the thing is, I wanna put some attack on my kicks from the drum break. So, I'm kind of still getting the texture of the breakbeat drum, but I got some bottom in from the other kick drum. So, I could do that to these. So I could just select all. See, you could, it has more, more um to it. Without it, and 
and it doesn't phase each other out because you attack the, the break. So that's a little little gem real quick. If you didn't know, but I'm sure most of y'all know. Alright, so now I can copy that now. And I'm gonna make this four bars. Let me, I forgot what the pattern was real quick. That chop, I can turn the volume up, the level on. You have more control with Serato Sample too as well, because you can turn up the volume on the, the chops too. Man, I do wish uh, Serato Studio add like 16 chops, upgrade that eight to 16, since you got 32 on sample. I'd be happy with 16 now. Alright, so now I'm gonna just I'm gonna double it up real quick. Remember high pass filter. Then I'm gonna use the uh, filter 
SP950. Somebody said cheat code central. <laughs> structure it out a little bit I might add a little more but just mute it out Actually, I'm gonna fade this in, so I'm gonna just make this eight bars. I'm gonna copy this one time. So if you wanna fade it in, you can do this. You can record it. So I'm gonna just That scene has to fade in, so you can't really like draw it in like you do in Ableton, but it's the workaround for that. So now go to the next program. I gotta turn it all up. So you could do a live automation, but it's not that accurate. So I'm drawing in the automation real quick. See that one? Just got to draw it in. But other than that, See what this one sound like. Do a little variation on this one too. Thank you. 
Also, I could uh, automate the, the filters too. So I don't want that on the whole time. I have the option to turn that off. Do this. If there's enough time to get one more in. If not, Shit, I might start doing this once a week on Twitch, man. Get my Twitch bars up. Alright. So, now I kind of have it structured out. It's just quick. I could just I could play like some shit I already made in here already to end it out for like ten minutes. Call it the day. He's talking about. Yeah, so who's up in here, man? See me like see pinstripe up in here. BRLK beats. See Nico. Kazaa up in here. Huh. Sir Jazz up in here. He killed it last week. Dirty Baby, he's up in here. Jordan is up in here. Word. Ian. Word. Let's. I'm gonna just uh play some uh unreleased stuff. I've been cooking in here, man. So, uh, bear with me.
know that Brazilian can't go wrong with that Brazilian. this this ramp all right yeah so I'm, you know plotting a beat tape with shit this kind of vibe but it's all serato studio beats and then eventually get to the other programs make a beat tape based on whatever program I'm using. Yeah, man, you can get it bouncing up in this joint, man. They, they said it would be too stiff for them, man. But I'm trying to tell you, all you got to do is nudge them joints. Right. But 
it's way easier doing it the way I was showing you earlier. But it, it's way, it's multiple ways, man. Pro, my large pro ID. Matt, what we looking like on time? That 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 might go on to take two. So it's that's the vibe I've been on lately. Occasionally in the gutter, gutter ball shit, but uh, for the most part. <laughs> I think something missing. Damn, some of the sounds missing. Fuck. I'll fix that, but you get the idea. Damn, I don't know why the sound's missing out.
Hi, let's see what this one. I'm just, I forget the titles. I'll be forgetting the titles and all that. So I'm kind of guessing what, what I'm playing on. Like. Hopefully, it gets ready to sound. It's working. Oh, nope. Got a few more and good to go. Uh, man. Shit, man. I'll play one more. Call it the day, man. So I got some Kazaa in here. Nah, this might be one with my, uh, my nephew low key on the uh the keys. This might be the last one. Yo! 
one hopefully it's not embarrassing <laughs> i don't remember this one but, uh, man it's called skeletor clump it might be grimy pretty much it yeah <laughs> man thanks for vibing out with me you know it's like uh i don't really do this kind of stuff too often so it's like to thank serato for having me you know and uh thanks to y'all for sticking around for a couple of hours so i might do this more often so yeah so uh Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Cook up something and uh, and that SP battle and koala battle soon. <laughs> and look out for a B tape soon, probably next month. But y'all got a little preview what to expect. Alright y'all, peace. <laughs>